What's up with the man's hair? Why is it so hard to give black characters fades these now and days? My man's sideburns is wider than a box Chevy. We have an official look at James Gunn's Superman. Not saying official as far as a poster goes, but this is definitely official, right? It's not him sitting down on set, putting on his boots, you know what I'm saying, and not paying attention to the camera, and the cameraman decides to take a picture of him. No, no, no. This is very close to what we're going to be getting in live action. And if you ask me, James Gunn is down bad for the Superman design. In fact, I feel that it may very well be the worst Superman suit of all time. Now let's get into these photos so I can rip them apart. First up, we have Superman David Corden set. This suit looks baggy. I am sorry, ladies and gentlemen, the suit doesn't fit that of David Corden set. It almost seems that the suit will fit the guy who was in it before him. Right, think about that for a second. Now, I will admit that David Corsett's head, everything about it, face, jaw, his ears, his hair, it works. It definitely works. But everything below the chin just doesn't work for me. He looks a little wide in the ab area. Those trunks isn't working for me. It seems that he has skipped that of leg day. And where the hell is his biceps? Why is it that Superman looks so damn small? The suit just isn't working for me, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that belt. That belt is ridiculous. It's outdated. I am sorry. Yeah, you may like it. You may even love it. But if you ask me, everything about this suit is just, it's just speaking volumes as far as the lack of quality goes, right? It, it, it's almost like this guy is on his way to that of Comic-Con. Right, that's how I feel about this. Next up is Mr. Terrific. Will somebody come look at this? Look at this. Why is it that Mr. Terrific look like he belongs in that of a zombie movie? Think about that for a second. Look at this. This isn't working translation to that of live action. I'm sorry. In the comics, yes. Mr. Terrific costume works it does but live action this isn't working for me and what's up with the man's hair why is it so hard to give black characters fades these now and days my man's sideburns is wider than a box chevy like for real look at this ladies and gentlemen he looks like frankenstein he looks dead oh my goodness let's check out another photo from this angle, Mr. Terrific, oh, I got a advertisement that popped up. Mr. Terrific, his suit, it doesn't look good, right? It almost resembles that of Shatterstar from that of Deadpool, right? But that suit looked better on him. In this case, it looks like a jean jacket, right? It's almost like it's trying to mimic that of Star Lord's suit. That's how I feel about Mr. Terrific. If you ask me, his suit should have looked something like, let me go over here to my web browser here. Like that, if you guys can see it. That's what his suit should have looked like. Should have looked like that. But instead, we have something that looks like it comes off of the CW right here. Tell me, tell me, tell me it looks different. I want you to lie to yourself and say that Mr. Terrific's suit looks different from that of the CW version. A lie. No, you can't. You just simply can't. This is trash, ladies and gentlemen. It's absolutely trash. Let's check out another photo. Superman looks fat. Look at the creases. Look at the creases. Look at all of those creases in this suit. Yeah, people are going to say, well, the CGI is going to clean it up. But just remember, check this out. Watch this. Man of Steel set photos. 
Now, I want you to answer a question for me. Does that look like CGI? This is set photos. Look at that. Will somebody come look at this? Somebody, please, look at this. That is a set photo. Compared to that. Did I tell you a lie? Did your boy O tell you one lie? No, I did not tell you one lie. And we have another photo. I know there's many right here, but they all are pretty much the same. Now, I will admit, he looks a little bit better, but not much at all. It may very well be the way that he's turning to make the suit look a little tighter, right? That's, that's how I feel about this. James Gunn has dropped the ball, in my honest opinion. That's how I feel. None of this looks good to me. None of it. All of it looks like trash. All of it looks like straight up garbage. Uh, why is all this advertisement coming up? Again, where's his biceps? He has nothing here. Nothing. It's empty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mr. Terrific. Look at that. He looks like a stunt double. Tell me. Tell me. He doesn't look good. I'm sorry. It's not translating to live action as we all hope that it would be. And I was someone who was very excited about Mr. Terrific, because he's an African-American character. You know, we don't get many of those these nowadays as far as superhero movies goes. And here it is. We have Mr. Terrific. You can go back and you can go check out my video that I made about the casting of this character. And you will hear me say that I'm excited to see Eddie Khadija in this role. However, I'm not feeling the design. Let's go back to Mr. Terrific again. That design is better. For real. That design is all the way better. I love that design. It modernized that of Mr. Terrific. Put it up here. That design is fire. Hell, even his toy looks a lot better than damn Eddie Khadiji's Mr. Terrific, right? I mean, come on here. Here's another picture of the CW version. Looks just like him just like in fact i would argue that the cw version looks a little better like for real i would say that the cw version looks a lot better than eddie khadiji here i'm sorry i'm sorry and i know many of those james gunn cultists is going to come into the comment section and they're gonna try and slam my channel and downvote I don't care. You can't shut me up. You guys are aggravating, man. I swear to you, every time someone says something negative about that of James Gunn, they come out the woodworks. Oh, you're just a Snyder cultist. You're a fool. You're an idiot. So on and so forth. But yet, you're wasting your time commenting on my channel. If you feel like you have an opinion, why don't you go and create your own damn channel and see how many people out there would agree with your opinion? That's what you should do. Instead of out here stalking channels for calling out Warner Brothers and DC's decisions, you need to be telling DC and Warner Brothers that they need to be listening to the fans because they need a hit on their hands. And this doesn't seem like it's going to be a hit. And if you go back and you listen to my earlier videos about this Superman film, I was one of the only few who said that this film was going to make money. However, now looking at the quality I'm not so sure. This is CW. This is cosplay. These men look like they're on their way to that of Comic-Con. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's trash. It's absolutely trash. Absolutely trash. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Somebody, somebody, would you please call a barber and get Mr. Terrific a damn haircut? Please. Somebody, I, I can I cut his hair? Shit, I think I do a good job when I cut my own damn hair. I'm pretty sure I can do a better job than a makeup artist that did that. I'm sorry. They did my man wrong here. And why does it look like he has on lipstick? <laughs> oh, all right, that is the black paint on his face, but it's not translating in my honest opinion. And let me guess, it's going to be nanotech. 
because James Gunn just loves some nanotech, baby. Maybe Superman's suit is going to be nanotech as well, like that of the new 52. And that seems to be what he's trying to go for here, but it's not translating as well. James Gunn, he's dropped the ball with this. I'm sorry. Maybe, just maybe, the first trailer and the visual effects will make this suit look good. But as of right now, I'm not feeling this suit. I'm not feeling it at all. I'm your boy O. Hopefully you have watched this video all the way to the end of your brought that algorithm. And if you're not subscribed, please be sure to do so. Try to reach that magical number of 3,000 subscribers. So I'll be highly appreciative. You will help me cross over that threshold by hitting that subscribe button. And if you are going to hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell because YouTube absolutely sucks at notifying subscribers that content creators has uploaded videos to their platform. Hitting that notification bell certainly helps. And don't forget to hit that like button to help me out that algorithm, baby. But in the comments below, let me know what you think about the Superman suit by James Gunn. And also, can you find a barber for this man? Damn that boy can sing. You must be crazy. He good. You must be crazy.